The world keeps going through recessions and depressions. As a result, many industries are declining in growth. Fortunately, there have been some industries that have experienced consistent growth, and with continuous technological advancements, these industries are doing better regardless of the economy repressing pandemic. 2022 will be a perfect environment for entrepreneurs to succeed with new products, services or innovations. Firstly, we have banking and finance. The pandemic was an ultimate gut punch, testing banks' resilience in unforeseen ways. Yet they are emerging stronger. Look no further than the explosive digital assets market. The COVID-19 crisis accelerated digitization for many sectors, pushing them to cashless payments and other digital solutions. The new financial architecture created by digital assets will have profound consequences for banks by revolutionizing how money is created, transferred, stored and owned, simultaneously forcing banks to redefine the workplace and how work is done. The industry also has a clear opportunity to lead the creation of authentic, differentiated identity that embeds higher purpose, as many banks have yet to turn their commitments to environmental, social and governance concerns into concrete action. They can alter the trajectory of climate change by taking the lead in climate finance innovation, something sorely needed to help transition companies, industries and countries to a net zero world. Secondly, software and technology. Software and IT have emerged as a significant area driving hiring demand across all other industries. According to Tech Republic, the need for software developers has increased by 25% post-pandemic. The rapid rise in the volume of enterprise data and the automation of business processes across several industries such as retail, manufacturing, healthcare and transport are expected to drive the growth of the business software and services market, especially in the need for cybersecurity and innovation software. Today, most companies and businesses have an online presence that needs to be protected and secured. As a result, they are proactively safeguarding their businesses from external and internal threats. Cybersecurity is projected to grow by 12% by 2028, as cloud computing marketing is estimated to rise by 18.6% by 2027. Next, we have healthcare. In light of the global pandemic, it is no surprise that the healthcare industry is growing dramatically. According to the website factsandfactors.com, they predicted a growth rate of 14.8% over the next five years. Moreover, with the new community hospitals and party clinics, the public health sectors and the overall industry is bound to expand. There should be no surprise here, but next up is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is amongst the fastest growing industries, partly because organizations were forced to furlough staff when the pandemic hit. As a result, companies had to look for ways to keep up operations despite having fewer employees on board. But AI is one of the technologies that will define the future of several industries through computing advancements. Hence, governments and the private sector are heavily investing in AI technology. Most websites and apps these days are monitoring and tracking our online behavior and preferences. And their AI software is helping them provide the right marketing messages to users at the right time. With a massive range of user information, AI machines can learn and acquire knowledge on their own. Alexa, Echo, Google Home and Apple Siri are great examples. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are bringing in the next phase of computing revolution in 2022, when the majority of our decisions will be automated. With appliances and devices already connected, the internet of things, they will gather a lot more data to process and gather more intelligence to serve us better, and therefore expanding the industry. Fifthly, manufacturing. According to BCC Research, the global market for manufacturing and process control is expected to grow by 6.3% for the period of 2020 to 2025. The global manufacturing sector has undergone a tumultuous decade as large developing economies leapt into the first tier of manufacturing nations. A severe recession choked off demand and manufacturing employment fell at an accelerated rate in advanced economies. Still, manufacturing remains critically important to both the developing and the advanced world. In the former, it continues to provide a pathway from subsistence agriculture to rising incomes and living standards. In the latter, it remains a vital source of innovation and competitiveness, making outsized contributions to research and development, exports and productivity growth. As well as manufacturing is not monolithic, it is a diverse sector with five distinct groups of industries, each with specific drivers of success. Manufacturing is entering a dynamic new phase. As a new global consumer class emerges in developing nations and innovations spark additional demand, global manufacturers will have substantial new opportunities, but in a much more uncertain environment. Sixth, 
data science and analytics. According to medium.com, data science and analysts have been named the sexiest job of the 21st century, as businesses are becoming much more data centric. The annual demand for data developers, scientists and engineers is continually increasing, and according to the US Bureau of Labor, is predicted for a growth of 28% by 2028. Besides the amount of digital data being used and digested daily from emails, subscriptions and Google searches, they are all increasing and it needs to be analyzed and managed. Therefore, people with a data science background and understanding of linear algebra, programming languages, calculus, statistics, and neural network architects and designs have better chances of entering this growing industry. Hitting the halfway mark, we have biomedical and biotechnological. With the complex needs of patients, as well as the COVID-19 pandemic, Companies have continued to design and create innovative solutions that has caused the medical device market to generate industry revenue and stellar growth in 2021. As a result, the global biomedical and biotechnological market is projected to increase by nearly $200 billion by 2025. The increasing numbers of healthcare facilities, healthcare expenditure, aging population and technological advancements are great drivers in this industry. Biotechnology is extremely useful in a modern day as it can be used to generate higher crop yields, which is crucial in a world where the population is rapidly increasing. Moreover, biotechnology can cure genetic diseases by manipulating genes, improving the quality of countless people's lives. The need for biotechnology is in such high demand that the market is estimated to grow by 7.4% by 2025. Eighth is mental health. According to marketwatch.com, the mental health market revenue is expected to grow by about $150 billion during the forecast period from 2022 to 2030. Adjusting to the new normal after the pandemic hasn't been easy for everybody. Even the most resilient people can only take so many abrupt changes and isolations to their daily life before they break and reach out to specialists. They need mental health specialists to talk them through these unprecedented times. The mental health outlook shows that jobs for mental health specialists have increased by 24% in 2021 and are projected to continue to rise. Major factors driving the growth of the mental health market include rise in geriatric population, mental health reforms, government initiatives for improving mental health care services, and numbers of people seeking mental health support. Then we have tourism and hospitality. The pandemic hit the tourism and hospitality industry hard. With revenue on the decline, overall industry growth dropped through 2020 and 2021. But as the vaccination programs continue and authorities across parts of the world have begun reopening economies, the travel agency and airline industry are gearing up to open the doors fully once again. Besides that, the government and industry are now focusing on lifting travel restrictions, applying new health protocols for safe travel and enabling market diversification. That will cause the sector to grow as there is a market research project that projects that the luxury travel industry will grow by over 7% over the next 5 years, and with such a hold on the industry there is no doubt it will boom. Digital and internet marketing coming in 10th. Many people have learned and are buying things online. It's the safe alternative to in-person purchases, so websites and companies need a helping hand to ensure web-based driven sales. Besides, digital and internet marketing will pivot to a more technological-based role where mastering and understanding big data remains crucial. Furthermore, being digitized is the only way to remain relevant in the online marketing landscape to merge social media and digital marketing channels. Hence, the need for specialists in data-orientated designs, digital marketing strategy and data collection and analysis will rise. With a background in digital marketing, you can venture into the opportunity in the service industry that is estimated to increase its hiring weight by 33% post-pandemic, and with advancements in the internet and metaverse realm, it is only bound to rise. Next, we have quantum computing. According to marketandmarket.com, the quantum computing market size is expected to reach a growth of 30.2% over the next five years. The early adoption of quantum computing in the banking and finance sector is expected to drive the growth of the market globally. Other key factors contributing to the growth of the quantum computing market include rising investments by governments of different countries to carry out research and development activities related to quantum computing technology. Several companies are focusing on the adoption of QCAAS post-COVID-19, which will allow customers access to quantum computing platforms through the internet. This, in turn, is expected to contribute to the growth of the quantum computing market. Twelfth, 
Agricultural Technology Agricultural technology or agrotechnology is the use of technology in agriculture, horticulture and aquaculture with the aim of improving yield, efficiency and profitability. Agricultural technology can be products, services or applications derived from agriculture that improve various input and output processes. According to Global Newswire, the global precision farming market is expected to grow at an annual compound growth rate of 12.7% from 2019 to 2026. Precision agriculture is a modern agricultural technology that uses a variety of technologies such as GPS, GIS and remote sensing to gather knowledge that is important in the field and as the population increases crop yield will become vital. Next we have renewable energy. The price of renewable energy such as solar and wind power has declined in recent years and become more affordable meaning that green power is now being seen as a more feasible option for many countries and companies. Additionally, the EU has raised its target of having 32% of its total energy use being green power by 2030, after pressure from the UK, France, Spain and Italy. The renewable energy market is particularly successful because unlike other power industries, its sources won't run out. The market share of solar and wind in global electricity generation grew at a compound average annual growth rate of 15% from 2015 to 2020. If exponential growth continues at this rate, solar and wind would reach 45% of electricity generation by 2030 and 100% by 2033. Lastly, online learning. With all ages having experienced virtual learning at some stage in the last two years, E-learning is expected to grow at an annual rate of 8% by 2026. Cloud computing, AI and enhanced network connectivity is expected to underlie this market growth. With some of the changes made in 2021, now incorporated into permanent online teaching methods, it is predicted that most universities will have full university courses that will be available for online study by 2030. What industry do you think we will see the most growth in? Do you think we missed one out? Let us know in the comments below, we would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so not to miss out on more.